Hi everybody, how you doing? Uh, it's me, uh, Gary, Brother Taps. That's right, Gary the fam is Brother Taps. I've been calling myself Brother Taps for some time now, even long before I started YouTube. Um, this is a uh, Brother Taps grab bag, uh, equipment equipment grab bag. Uh, what I'm gonna show you is uh, some of the stuff I got in my bags for equipment. Uh, which is just a drop in a bucket because I got more equipment. I got uh, I got stuff that's packed away. I got a uh, a DVR closed circuit uh, cameras, um, video cameras, uh, you know, with night vision and everything, and uh, just crazy. I, I I got eight cameras, eight video cameras. Uh, what I'm gonna show you is. Uh, in my little bag, my bag of tricks. This is called Trifield. Yeah, Trifield me me the model 100 XD. Very good. Everybody uses them. Even Taps uses them. We all use them. Right here. And we all know what this is. This is, huh, the REM pod, everybody has a REM pod, don't leave home without a REM pod, you gotta have a REM pod, what else do we have, ah, digital recorder, also known as for EVP, electronic voice phenomenon, which is voices you pick up on audio recorded recorders that you can't hear with the naked ear. Uh, what else do I got in my grab bag? Ah. That won't open. I hate this thing. It's a pain in the ass. But it does that. This is a spirit box. Everybody has to have a spirit box. That's right. Radio frequencies that continuously scans over and over and over rapidly, really fast. And you can pick up voices supposedly from spirits. Radio frequencies. Okay. Okay. What else do I got in my grab bag? What else we got here? Ah, this here is EMF detector. Oh. Okay. This light on. Light on. Well, the light is going on. Okay. Okay, is this here? EMF detector. It's one, one of the kind of EMF detectors that's out there on the market. Uh, okay, this is pretty good. Uh, Everybody knows what this is. The famous temperature gauge. The thermometer gun. Taps has been using these forever. For ages now, we, they've been using these. Since day one from the first show. From the first show. Uh, original show. Um, it's, right now it's 82 degrees in here. See? 82 degrees in here. Oh, 58. What is it throughout? No, no, 82 degrees. 82 degrees. I don't know why it says 58 over there. There's 58 there, but it said 82 when I looked at it. I don't get it. It's weird. What else do we have here? Oh, 
Ghost Meter. These are all right, but I don't rely on it too much. It doesn't seem to work well for me. I got it anyway because everybody has one. What else do we have here? Ah, uh, here's the classics here. The trusty K2 readers. You gotta have them, gotta have them, gotta have them. Everybody has a K2 meter. A black one and a gray one. What's the difference between this and this? There isn't any. Except one is made for one one is made in England. The other one's made in the United States. That's the only difference. This one might be a little more sensitive than this one. Don't know why. It just happens to be that way. But it's the same thing. Works exactly alike. But a K2 meter is a K2 meter. Check out one of my videos. Where I talk about the difference between, you know, about K2 meters and about how I debunked the theory of fake K2 meters. They don't exist. There's no such thing as a fake K2 meter. It doesn't exist, folks. Check out my video on that. Okay? And, uh, when I when I when I debunk debunk it by using this and this and comparing them, they're exactly the same. They do the same exact thing. This one's just a little more sensitive. Uh, check out my video on that. It's on YouTube. Trust me. Ah, uh, what else do I got? Aha! Oh, oh, they saw this fell. Oh, yeah, this little thing. This little bug right here. Ah. Uh, okay. This thing is highly sensitive. It's like a REM pod without the noise. It's, a little, it's like a mini REM pod without the noise. Thing is awesome, awesome piece of equipment. Look at how sensitive it is. Look, it's a REM pod without the noise. I love this little thing. I saw this at the Ocean State Paracon, a few of these, and I was curious about it, so I went out and bought them. Bought them. I, I they come in six, so I got six of them. I got like uh, five more of these, so I bought one. Only thing with this, you just have to, there's no on and off buttons. You just have to keep the um, unplugged battery in it, that's all. Awesome piece of equipment. Mini rim pods, I call them. <laughs> the antennas fold. That's another beauty part of it. And this, everybody knows what this is. This is a cell sensor. This thing's reliable. This thing picks up. It's very reliable. I, I, I like this. I like it better than my ghost meter. These these are used a lot in uh, paranormal investigation. So sensors. I like these. So that's just some of the stuff I got. Some of the stuff. I got so much equipment it isn't funny. Believe me. Makes me want to stay in the paranormal field. The more, the more I dig into this stuff. I spent a lot of money on equipment, lots of money, good f couple of thousand dollars worth of equipment or more. I got. I spent a lot of money and a lot of time. I got one reliable team member this, that I got on my team last year. He stood by me through thick and thin. I mean, he, even when uh, I had a person fire him which I didn't didn't want. I didn't I didn't want that to happen. But this person fired him and uh, I wasn't too happy about it. But uh but he still stood by me and when I got rid of that person he came back and we're we're back working again. We just waiting to start work. Uh I I made a list of places where we could start working. I want to start working immediately this this month of October. I don't want to wait till November. I want to start like 
in a couple of weeks before it gets too cold. Um, because I already got places lined up, you know, uh, let's listen, and, uh, because I want to do some investigation, uh, but at least before I retire, if, if all, if I do it all, but I don't know, I'm back and forth with it, my head's going, I got a lot going on, but, uh, anyway, I'm not going to talk about retiring right now. I'm just going to concentrate on what's going on right now. Um, I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it in January. Uh, but uh, I'm just going to enjoy the moment. But uh, anyway, folks, uh, that's pretty much uh, some of the stuff I got uh, for equipment. Some of the stuff. I got more stuff in here. Oh, my God. Oh. This here is also a... Uh, this here is also an EMF detector. Is that something? Uh, this here? Metadone. It's metadone. It's a sound. Any little sound. See what I mean? And I'm talking and I pick it right up. Good gadget to have. Aha! Yes, I loved it. This thing, when I was at Lindsay Boy's Bed and Breakfast, um, when I did my, when I filmed my documentary, this thing picked up so much activity. You wouldn't believe. My, one of my um, team members was holding it and he was picking up activity left and right. Like, it, it was going crazy. This thing's cool. It's very reliable. Very reliable piece of equipment. I recommend this. It's called a gauze meter. I, 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 I recommend this. See it? Get a good look at it. Go on um, Amazon and purchase this. It's an awesome piece of equipment. Motion detector. You're just supposed to have these. These things are good. This thing has an alarm. You can set the alarm to different tones. And you put it in a, in, a, in a room by itself. If it goes off and there's nobody in there, obviously it's a spirit. Or a mouse. Could be a mouse, too. A mouse could run by and set it off. But who knows? This thing is uh, pretty good. Very reliable. You know why I got this? Um, I think, oh, uh, what the hell is it? I got this at, uh... You know, I forget the name of the place. Uh, Harbor Freight Tools. Yeah, Harbor Freight Tools. Uh, like, uh, like 20 bucks. 50, no, maybe 10 bucks. I don't know, something like that. Harbor Freight Tools. This here is, uh, the, the batteries are dead on it, but it's pretty much what Tash uses. It's, uh, it's an EMF, it's an EMF meter too. You walk around and you, you know, go up there, whatever, see if you get readings. Same thing. Just a less expensive version. And that's some of the stuff. I don't want to go through everything because it would take me all night. Uh, but that's pretty much it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed uh uh brother brother task gra uh uh Grab bag of uh, equipment, equipment bag. Um, and so, um, yeah, I, sh I think I should call this Brother Taps equipment bag. Uh, Brother Taps grab bag. Yeah, Brother Brother Taps grab bag. Um, and uh, Brother Taps grab bag. And um, see you soon. And don't forget to be watching Ghost Nation. It's going to be airing October 11th on the Travel Channel. My boys are going to be on it, so you better be watching. All right? Jason Hawes. Cody Ray Desmond. Steve Gonzalez. And Dave Tango on Ghost Nation. October 11th. 8 o'clock, 9 central. Or is it 10 o'clock? 
ninety cents or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, be watching Ghost Nation October eleventh on a travel channel. Check your listings. Check your local listings for times. For the times. But don't forget, Ghost Nation, October 11th on the Travel Channel. Be there, be square. If you don't and I die, I'll come back and haunt you. How's that? <laughs> All right, hey, guys. Uh, yeah, seriously, Ghost Nation is going to be coming up on October 11th uh, on the Travel Channel. Um, so I think, I think it starts at 10 o'clock. Uh, I'm not sure, between 9 or 10, something like that. Uh, but um, be watching. Be watching that, all right? Jay, Steve, Dave, and uh, Cody is going to be on that. So it's the original lineup, the original the original TAPS team. And uh, Cody's been actually a, a TAPS member for a long time. You know, but he, he was uh, on the... Uh, he was working on the TAPS home team back in Warwick for a while, but Jay decided to have him on uh, Ghost Nation, which is excellent because Cody deserves a big break, and I'm glad he got his big break. He worked hard. He worked his tail off to get to, to get that break, and uh, this is awesome. Don't forget to watch the debut, the debut of Ghost Nation, the, the premiere. The world premiere of Ghost Nation, October 11th. Have a good night. Talk to you soon.